Fortuna, Fortuna, spin your wheel upon us. I decided I'm going to start watching Star Trek. Imagine getting eliminated based off your dick. Welcome to the Medieval Science of Podcasting. I've never developed a tolerance for weed. It's so funny. I Smoking it, I have, but the edibles every now and again destabilize headquarters. <laughs> every now and again. They, someone pulls the fire alarm inside me when the edible hits, and I was like, oh boy. And I start going like, isn't this what you wanted? And it's like, I don't know. Do I even like this feeling? What the hell's going on? Yeah. Why do I do this? And then, it, you know. it feels gluttonous <clears throat> to feel that nice. And I just, I freak out. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like, this is way too decadent of a feeling. That's weird. I just get like a, a, I'll get like a pain. Like, who do I think I am? Like an ancient king? That's how I feel when I'm on weed. Yeah, dude. (laughs) Yes. The answer is yes. Am I a monarch? I think I'm an ancient king. (laughs) Yeah, dude. You know? Do I deserve to feel like I'm being carried on like tiny body pillows by servants? You might have to just accept your kingness, dude. I've got a latent king quality that I'm, it's bursting through the seams <laughs> and the it's hell? fucking me up why what the, why are you fighting that i mean me and sid are comfortable in our kingness dude, really you, you got to become blacker dude yeah that's your problem <laughs> yeah you ain't black enough dog <laughs> you got to cross the threshold of kingliness yeah it's the first step come on king i'm a goddamn king come on king. <laughs> yeah. come on young king you can start out as a young boss i you think want. that's why i dress like a streets of rage <laughs> character is because if like i don't just do something retarded with my entire energy it's gonna go wigger how I I it's you think you're a king wigger? I you might like the be. wigger king. I might be. <laughs> you might have to come dude, out. I might start me. having to do in that spray paint crown, the graffiti crown, dude. Everywhere I go, the three dots, and then you know what I'm talking about. You you you're, you might just be fighting absolute greatness, dude. You could be the wow. bearer of light wigger king. Yes, there's tr- there's got to be two, right? I could be the chosen wigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dude, I do have a crossover. <laughs> what? Dude, it's, it's Wigger Lord of the Rings. I have to return a flat brim to like my stepdad's house or something. You know what I mean? I have to, get, I have to destroy a new era hat at a guy named Jake's house. You gotta un, you gotta uncurve a flat brim. <laughs> yeah. oh, shit, I forgot we have still have music playing. Where's my phone even? Actually, I never even met a Wigger that was good at basketball. Hmm. Jason Williams. He's he's probably he went, he's he, a, he's he a, fully, his fairy fully crossed over though so I think yeah I think if you're in like purgatory yeah. you're trash once you fully accept greatness yeah then you just all of a sudden and someone's like what the fuck and you're like <laughs> it has happened dude you never know you know what I could never figure out is the guy from Maroon Five a wigger <laughs> <laughs> like an R and B wigger definitely not yeah definitely I not. think he might be an R and B wigger no yeah. dude yeah. no he's way. not like a bus stop towel over the shoulder wigger he's like a like a multi-billionaire like a, R&B a John B. Who was what was his name? The I white. Don't know. Yeah, John B. Was Robin Thick. Yeah, he's like. Sure. A, well, my problem is he's still fighting a hard. Li- I <laughs> I get it. What's up, bees? Yo, shout out bees <laughs> in the tomb. Yeah. Shout out bees in the tomb. <laughs> Dude, Did you guys start yet? Yeah, we're, we're starting. Jesus started. Christ. He's fucking rolled the boulder in front of his own tomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. I think Adam Levine is a um, like an usher wigger. <laughs> like, I, don't, I think yeah. he's too nerdy. Like a, no, he's a polite wigger. I, I, see, I can know, see man. if you put polite wigger on him. Think about that. Polite wigger. He could very well be that. I think, I think Butterly's on to something. I don't whatever, know, man. I'm thinking, you I'm know what? Sold. Maybe maybe Wigger's not the correct word, but whatever his whole thing is, he definitely just stole it from black people. <laughs> <laughs> now you might be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I guess you need a more respectful word. <laughs> what you're thinking? <laughs> you're trying to combine the phrase. Someone who emulates like a black dude with a master's degree? <laughs> I, the two phrases that you're thinking of in your head that you would never say out loud are wigger and one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> those are the that's the those are the two concepts that you're painting a picture of right now. So I don't think that. I'm think saying that that's what you're talking about. Yes, dude. I think he's too big of a nerd. I think his I know. nerdliness. I know. His nerdliness will forever keep him from attaining kangly status. He's, I, I think he's at best a duke. 
and he knows that. You don't think he's a king? No. Adam Levine's not a king. Not a king. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll give him. He's king status. All right. Yeah. But Good. he's more. We're on the same page. He's a peaceful merchant. He knows that we know at any point, like a true king could rise up and go into the house of Horus on him. Uh, Just align fully with Horus, dude. Ah, uh, so. Um, you know about the hall. He's more like a steward to the throne status. He's yes. not a full king. Yes, but he's up. He's on the throne. I respect him. I mean, he, you know, he, he knows this. <laughs> like he's not in the House of Horus. House of Horus yeah. is a dude who fully aligns, and is like, did you ever read about ancient Egypt when they linked northern Egypt with southern Egypt? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, bro, that's the House of Horus. That dude just rose up. He's like, I think Egypt needs to be won, and killed five thousand people, <laughs> and everyone was like, good choice, nice job. <laughs> Wow. He's he's like one of the greatest. They don't know exactly who did it. There's two dudes, but like he's held up as like that's like the hieroglyphs. They're like, yo, remember that one time that dude was like, fuck this, and killed like five thousand people. Then we had one nation. I have never that heard guy of this. rules. Yeah, I didn't that's, know there was a North Egypt and a South Egypt. There was, dude. <laughs> and this dude, this dude united it. He was like, fuck this. It bothered him. He's like, this is fucking bullshit. I do hate when there's a North and a South of something. It sucks. You know what yeah. I mean? It sucks. It's like, like we yeah. should kill five thousand people in North Dakota and just join them up. Let's go. Yeah, you'd be aligned. The whole idea in ancient Egypt was like there was this divine order that was right, but it needed material people to enact the right order and then thus create it in real life. So when that dude did that, he was said to be living in the house of Horus. Cause like, I need to say this because my brain is stuck on it, but that's, I, I'm realizing that Hitler was a wigger. He stole, he <laughs> Go stole, on. Uh, who, who did this? Who did this unite, unite, unification of Egypt? Who was, the, who was responsible? I forget the guy's name. There, there's two guys that could have been. They're not exactly sure which one did it. it okay, so, so that's ago. basically how Hitler, Hitler stole this guy's playbook. Pretty much. Like in the same way that Adam Levine is a wizard, <laughs> Hitler okay. is an a ancient wizard. Egyptian. Okay. He's a, yeah. Adam Levine. To be fair, you heard it here first. Fair. Adam Levine and Hitler are the same kind of wizard. <laughs> <laughs> a sentence that's never been crafted before in the history of the world. I can definitely say yes. 100% never. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> that's a brand new sentence. <laughs> That'd be funny if it becomes like a cliche comparison where all of a sudden like, oh, not another one of these, like, oh, God, Adam Levine's Hitler. Yeah, we've had this other time. <laughs> I completely forget what I was going to say. Yeah, was, I, oh, I had oh, to get hold that on. out of my brain. No, it was, I, it was no you, you can't keep that. Yeah. You yeah. need to get that out. Yeah. I'm glad that it now exists in the ether. <laughs> That's joined the collective consciousness. People have to oh like just God. process that thought and be like, I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, I, don't, I couldn't yeah. see that. It just tried to, <laughs> Here's where you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Some new drive and be like, oh, what are they? No, no. Are they? Yeah, this is reprehensible stuff. Just some you know? like, yeah, someone like is like a pharmaceutical sales rep driving around <laughs> listening to this. Who's just like, if that Dude, happens, if you like, if you wouldn't even flinch if at the end of one of those like passionate Hitler speeches, he was like, holla at your boy, it <laughs> just walked away. You wouldn't even <laughs> flinch. <laughs> Dude, he, he kind of did say that. Right? <laughs> His whole thing was based on your boy. Yeah. It was heavy. He was like, dude, you know I, what I mean? I know only 5% of you were sold, but your boy's got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let your boy, dude. It was a, it was a big Chaboy mission. Yeah. He was that boy. He was. It is that. He was that boy, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't agree with him. <laughs> nah, but terrible. I will say he terrible definitely, choices. Terrible choices. But he definitely thought he was that boy. He, he was. You'd ask him, like, bro. No, he was that boy. Are you nope. it? He'd yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was told he. Uh, yo, and if anybody else around him would have been like, yo, I'm that boy, it would have been like, psh, psh. I mean, there were some other politicians that thought they were that boy and they all <laughs> yeah. kind of died. I think he, like, assassinated somebody. That's how he came into power. Yeah, he rose up. Damn, imagine yeah. if he put out his own movie of belly like was before. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He but probably, yeah, he, he probably had pharaohs on his wall. Like painted. He got pharaoh. he got real they got really into Eastern the Eastern religion. Cause you know how the fucking like Hindus had swastikas? Yeah. Yeah, Hitler was like, hold up. I think that's us. I think we was kings. He definitely <laughs> he went in. Yeah. There was a big contention between when Eastern mythology, like when we first translated it and got it. The big thing the Nazis did was like, yo, because it ruled. It was so fucking sick. And the Nazis were like. Wait, just one second. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But if I told you Adam Levine was into Buddhism, would you even doubt me for a second? 
He must be. Yeah, right? No, yeah. You just assume to be the case. But please, go on. I'm just saying the connection between Hitler I can see him and Adam being, Levine is solid. I could see Adam Levine being more like a uh, like an Episcopalian. No way. <laughs> nah. <laughs> like man. a devout Episcopalian? No, a guy, a guy like that going, guess what? Buddhism is like the sexiest thing I in know, the world. I know. I think yeah. you're. I think you're. You know I'm mean? just trying to throw. In. Everyone likes to think <laughs> that if they were him, they wouldn't go Buddhist. I'm just, you would go Buddhist. I'm playing Hitler's advocate. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just trying to play Hitler's advocate here. <laughs> what if Mel was just playing Hitler's advocate? <laughs> He's like, I know. I'm just weighing the argument out just so we don't have an echo chamber. <laughs> yeah, but you were explaining Buddhism. Uh, you explain uh, oh, yeah, Eastern so the, religions. The Nazi, the Eastern philosophy came in, and it would kind of ruled, which is when you're like, no, nah, here's the deal. White people are clearly the best. The Eastern philosophy comes in. That was like for intellectuals. They're like, this shit fucking rules. Like, I know Christianity is pretty tight, but like, I don't know, guys. This is fucking dank. <laughs> and then it was a big thing. So you're doing your thing, and you're like, Hitler had to be like, yeah, those were all white guys like 30,000 years ago. And then we left and came here. That's just our stuff. Come on, huddle back in here, guys. So that was there was a big uh, wing of the propaganda arm that was like that's why it goes. That's why Iran to this day like they'll chuck up Nazi salutes at soccer games. A couple of them. What? Because Iran's convinced they are the ancient Aryans. Like Germany got like deep into Iran being like, no, 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 you guys are us. Like you're us for sure. Like you're us. Chill. Are you like, making this up? No, it's real. Yeah. This is real. That's pre- crazy. Iran means land of the Aryans. I'm like dead. I'm I, sort of God. I believe you. It started in like 1945. Iran's pretty new. I didn't know. I didn't know Iran was new, but that's it. I didn't. When I found out. I was like, <laughs> he thought I, it was, I know it was that new. Yeah. I'm like, when a country's new, I'm like, all right, what, 1800? They're 1940s. Yeah. Some dude got into the house of Horace and was like, <laughs> this is fucking Iran. But they were teamed up. Yeah. Hitler was involved pretty heavily. <laughs> or at least the Nazi propaganda machine was like, they kept like, we're, you're in, you're in, you're one of us. And then they never would say, they, at the end, the guy was like, bro, what's good? And then they were like, look, you guys are cool, all right? We're not going to say you're part of the master race, but you guys are cool. And they were like, what the fuck, man? Whoa. They yeah, they, they, fought, they, dic- they dictated them on master race status. The Nazis dictated <laughs> Iran. Yeah. And the guys died. It was like the dad, and then the dad died, and it was the son. Mm. It was like, yo, we should get into this Germany shit. And they were just like... Yo, say we're part of the squad in Germany at the last second. They kept being like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. In the last second, like, you guys are part of the squad. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the whitest out of the Middle East. Iran's like the whitest dudes. Yeah, they have the most Caucasian features. Yeah. <laughs> and they... Yeah. Like, if you if you, if you you brown... Like, there's like a, a certain amount of like... Uh, like, if you like slightly brown face a white dude, he could pass as like an Indian. I think Adam Levine is Iranian. I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. I think that might solve this whole problem. That's that's what it is. He's not supreme because he's a sub Aryan, Iranian. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your language is technically correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny, dude. That's a funny thing for a whole country to be like, "Yeah, we are the fucking best." <laughs> oh, and you lose a war to other white people, and you're just like, oh, "Brothers, I'm so confused. <laughs> what the hell, man?" Losing the fights to white people sucks. Yeah, it's got to disheart, especially when you're a white dude being like, "Yo, guys, we're the best." Yeah, you ever watch England comes down on you? You're like, "What? What did I say? I don't understand." (laughs) There's there's something fun about watching dudes leave the game when their team lost, like that. Just like trudge out, just like yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that being your country. (laughs) (laughs) That was Germany. Germany was that country. World War One, smacking smacking cups out of people's hands. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> Germany lost two wars. He, yeah. They fucking got they got their peepee smacked. <laughs> World War One. I. I think they lost one maybe before that, or maybe they dominated. I forget. And then World War Two lost again. They were like mm. a butt hurt country. Wait, hold on a second. I need to say this. My brain's breaking again. You know that's how like for like the different white cultures, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. For the different white cultures. Yeah. For, like so so like England can look at Germany and be like, ah, oh, they're fucking gay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's all we do, right? That's that's, that's all we that's do. All you do. Like, <laughs> you so track the code. So you like you demystify. You de- like white white people are somehow like uh, the way you assume them to be. They're like demystify. Like whatever, just fucking sure. gay. They're fucking gay. And then like with all brown cultures, like you look at them as like different levels of barbarian. 
not you, but like throughout like other, even the way other brown cultures handle each other. Yeah. Like they'll be like, you know, like I don't fuck you up though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Will he or won't he? Yeah. That's a, what's the litmus test for whether someone's about it or not? Like, how do you tell if someone's about that life or not? I mean, or do you just fuck around and find out? That's, <laughs> that's about it. Really? That's, about, that's, the, that's, only, you you, that's the only way you can know that white people are about it. You fuck around and find fuck out. Fuck around and find out. True. You know, or they, True. <laughs> they fuck around and show you. True. That's true. <laughs> you know, but that's like, there's a lot of assumed aboutitness in the black culture globally. Yeah, like for true. brown people true. globally, and I th- and I'm ready to demystify that. I yeah. think that needs to end. Yeah, because like I think I exactly know what you're saying. We have like English people, Italian people, Scottish, and we can kind of get like a a decent read based on like a, a thing that is easy to like surmise in large quantities. I can say yeah. something about Irish people pretty easily, but like. Yeah, you're talking it's about hard. stereotypes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah. You're, you're scientific. You were tap dancing around stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that's what it was either. I swear to God, I was just like, yeah, like you could just like kind of like there's a, a large these. group of people. But there's like this identity tag that makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> Shared qualities that are almost kind of taboo to even acknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is like we have it like kind of stratified in a way with white people, whereas yeah, with black people, it's not as stratified. It's not as stratified. Well, I, I mean, I think it is, but it's 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 that like it's levels of aboutedness. That's what I'm saying. But nobody, I feel like these fucking white liberals want to just try to say everyone's about it. They're gonna be like, no, he's actually very about it. Yeah, think about it. He's very about it. Like, no, he's not. They're like, how dare you fucking say that? <laughs> yeah, everybody ain't about it. This is true. And it's Jeez, like, what the hell are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in there, dude? Love, dude. Yo, bees, way in, dude. <laughs> yeah, bees. How about it? Would you say you were a scale one to ten? <laughs> what? <laughs> bees, quit Sorry, I downloaded a fart uh, soundboard. It's fucking, it's pretty sweet. Bees, quit fucking around in the tomb. We're talking about serious shit here. Yeah, are you about it or not, dog? <sighs> I feel like I'm supposed I mean, to be doing dude, a cam show in here. This bees, is very awful. Jesus, clearly you guys are it. literally. This is modeled after the fucking sex slave dungeons in Taken. Get us paid, dude. <laughs> I'm about to put on a show. Bees, you showed us. You fuck showed around to find out. We got the fuck around to find That's out. That's what my fucking cam show is called. <laughs> fuck around to find out. Bees are. <laughs> yo, what if bees are gonna fit There's anything <laughs> in his ass? Yeah, dude. Fuck around to find out. I think of everyone I know, bees is actually the funniest person that could possibly spread his asshole. On the cat. <laughs> Do you like that? Bees. 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 Yo, bees. What? Bees. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> How much of the freeze pipe do you think you could sit on? <laughs> How far it could go down? You think you could get to the glycerine could you, coils? Yeah, could you get cold? Could you could you freeze that? Or could you take That's, it down to the uh, UFO percolator? <laughs> How many of the UFO percolators could you take? <laughs> I could, I don't know if I could get to the freeze coil, dude. The I'm freeze? Like, <laughs> dude, that shit's way too cold. True. You're not getting that. Yeah, I pop up after. I, if, if, I, if, if, I, if I touch the little cold, I pop right back up. <laughs> yeah, you clench so hard. Yeah. That's how we broke the last <laughs> freeze pipe. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dude, uh, bees. What? <laughs> you were clearly about it, dude. You fucking milked this thing multiple times. Yeah, I know. That's what you said to do. I was like, this is perfect. I, I just say, dude, I always say, do your best. I'm not a weed boy. Like, yo, dude, fucking, dude. Dude, milk. It. Oh, come on. That's it. That was nothing. That's we were running in serious danger of getting oh, weed God. bullied online. We're gonna get our hits critiqued. And make, pff, that was nothing. <laughs> no, dude. No, Sorry, man. Mm. that's gonna kill me, dude. That'll spin that's me gonna out. Be tough. I'd rather someone say I was like, I don't know, like I should kill myself. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine the behind the music. Like, why did he start milking so hard? You're like, dude, <laughs> he was getting crushed. Yeah. He started milking hard as hell, and it all fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> He started holding his hits in, fucking paranoid. Like, <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> smoking in Newport immediately yeah, after man. smoking to enhance it. That was a sick move. Back yeah. day, that's real like that's real like big fat guy with a big beard move. <laughs> yeah. Like a thick beard on a guy with like a huge neck <laughs> and just like champing weed harder than everybody else. <laughs> and rips the fucking cig immediately <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh got like God. a like a like a hat with a not just a flat brim, but it's also like flipped up. It changes things. 
Like yeah. whenever when I'm smoking weed with someone and they just rip out a cigarette right afterwards, in my head I'm being like, "There's stuff I can't tell you." <laughs> I'm like we could be boys clearly, but like we're 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 worlds apart. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I mean we're still, we're still boys, but it's like when I see that, I I just go like, "Oh shit, you're gonna rip a cig after this?" I'm like, "All right, that's another level of life." Yeah. Finish smoking weed and just fucking bam, sig to the mouth. Yeah, is your is the guy that you were imagining? Does he also wear? Basketball jerseys with the T-shirt underneath. Wow. Time out, time out, bees. <laughs> yeah, bees. Before I go on on my hate speech, do you ever rip a cig right after smoking weed? I used to. Yes, that was the move. I, th- I thought Not you were now. Yeah, you were describing six pretty accurately. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the move. You know what I mean? It didn't matter. I thought I was describing Fennel. Fennel definitely. Fennel's another does. one. Fennel, yeah. he smokes. Yeah. They're kindred in that way. I don't. I don't. Still I, to this day, I watched. They're Fennel kindred do this in my head. dudes. Yeah. You started describing this. I mean, Fennel is obviously more Jack than you were describing. But like you were describing this, and I was like, I just watched Fennel do this outside mm-hmm. of Raven. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, mm-hmm. he definitely does it. Damn, yeah. we'll have Fennel on here for sure. Yeah, we uh, need to ask him about get this. The whole actually. poker table out here. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, Fennel Ooh. needs to get in the tomb immediately. For bees, I'm Ew. I'm fucking stuck under the future, dude. Forgive me. We're here, right here, right now. Yeah. What we got, is up? Welcome we got to way too high for this. <laughs> Welcome to Stoner. <laughs> Welcome to Stoner Dads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I love how Bees never even answered the question. That shows how bout it he is. True. Dude. You fuck. never answer questions. Answer you talked about this last week? You never yeah. answer questions. Nah, no. Bro. Too bout it. Too bout it. Yeah, you, people can't know anything. Yeah, dude. I think, yeah, the second you start telling people you're about it, it's like, you're yeah, not. Are, yeah, are you? Yeah. yeah, it's like, are you, dude? It's like, I don't know. Where's this, where's this need to be perceived as being about it coming from? And again, that's... It, how I, it's Master P made a, a whole movie about it. What do you think about that? It's a paradox, dude. You got it. So here, here, let me let me say this. So uh, Brandon is one of the, the the things that black people like 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 false bout it black people are really good at, right? So like take LeBron James for example. Mm-hmm. Do you think he is a pass first guy or a shoot first guy? Just like just get it out there. Shoot first shoot first right but he brands himself as a pass first guy like people listening to everybody listening to this is like no LeBron James is the most unselfish player in the league that's because that's what he calls himself and then people just eventually started believing it (laughs) do you think he's actually just a ball hug he is at heart at heart he has to be he's been the best person that you ever played basketball with his whole life he statistically shoots more than anybody else in the NBA really yeah certified ball hug certified do you think that's what all of his social stuff comes from? His deep guilt about being a ball. That's <laughs> why so he started that school. He's like, <sighs> checks his assist. He's Dude. like, what the fuck's wrong with me? He's got like a dark night in his house where he's drinking in front of like a full length mirror and he like throws it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what's up with those chips and guac? You gonna get that out? Yeah, we're gonna get it in, the, in between. I can't, yeah, dude. We're gonna that's kind of s- weird that you guys don't have like a snack, snack situation on this uh, shelf over here. It's not the best audio experience yeah. here, dude. <laughs> snacking. <laughs> You're on the clock right now. You can't be eating on the clock. Yeah, yeah, dude. We're gonna take a nice break after this, and you'll have a nice. Not uh, in the house I'm of horror. Setting up on this yeah, shelf. we're in the fucking house of horrors right now, Come dude. On, man. You're opening the window. Show some respect. No. Bees, bees. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Please. Serious question. Now, this is more of something I just want to bring to your attention. So. Please. Yesterday, I text you. I say, yo, Beast, what's good? <laughs> I'm going to come scoop you up. Also, I hit you with the picture of the freeze pipe. You don't say anything about it, dude. No. You don't. You just go, okay, cool. Or Damn. sure. No, I, I said, sure. Sure. <laughs> like, bro. What, do you, what do you need out of well, it? You elevated that to an okay, cool. He just, he gave it was you a sure. Sure. It was even, I yeah. know. sure was on both fronts. Sure, sure was for the pickup and that bomb. Sure. I knew what sure. I was getting into when you asked me to. That's sure. why I was playing. I had a vicious migraine last night. Peace, you don't you think I need the, this shit right you now? You might be the most bout it, dude. Yeah, I am the most bout it. He uses he, minimal baby. communication. He through sees text. that. Sure. Master B, dude. Minimal communication. Dude. <laughs> Master B. <laughs> dude. Master B. I had to confront you about that. About I talked. What? I talked to Blisnik about it. I was like, I you knew you this? would. And you know Blizz what's goes, funny? Blizz goes, you got to confront him about that. When, I, I, I was at Blizz's yesterday. He said he talked to you, but I, <laughs> I thought about that and I said, if I don't mention anything about that bong, it's gonna get in his ass, dude. And uh, it did like, immediately. Uh, immediately, I, I made it like thirty-five minutes. I'm like. Blizz, check out this bong. Like, by the way, <laughs> Beast didn't even acknowledge no it. No response. Don't <laughs> fuck. Like getting nothing back on a dick pic. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lighting sucks in here. We'll have to put the pic up to show you guys what happened to me. I, <laughs> I said, sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I hit you with the sure. Sure. Hit him with the thing a, is a, nice, though. The London Bridge of bongs, dude. <sighs> 
It is. <laughs> I mean, I, I modded it out. This is the yeah. only thing I've ever modded. I can't fix oh. cars. Yeah, it is souped up. Never, I fucking modded that, dude. That's good. Usually there's one of those dude, things. Can I tell you a too. funny mod story that yes. I always bring up? Please. Dude. Do you remember back in like the early 90s, everybody was like modded in their bikes? This is a Shana story. I don't know if you ever heard it, but everybody was like, you know, putting bigger wheels on their bikes, on their BMX bikes. Yeah, they're modded yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, Shana's dad, dad wouldn't buy him anything. So he took his front wheel off and took a small, like, wheelbarrow wheel on his <laughs> and put it on the front. And he rolled up to the kids in the neighborhood, but he was just facing down. So he, he was so poor, he actually looked like the character from Saul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bent over just, just up press, just modded up my wheels. Yeah. <laughs> he put a rollerblade wheel on his bike. Wait, what is what is that? Is it an Indo where you where you go forward? Yeah, he was like he was in like, sure. perma he's oh, a permo Indo. That was so funny. That's actually pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Doing an endo how'd you do your endo? Front brakes or stuck your foot in the tire? Ooh, front brakes. Oh, if I had them front brakes, but I've, I've done the foot in the foot tire. Foot in the tire. Yeah, I was yeah. right, right, the tire in the, right in the back. Through, yep. Yeah, foot in yeah, the yeah, tire. And uh, I get the tire like three inches off the ground. I'd be like, nailed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a pretty tight end. Though. What was your bunny hop game like? <laughs> Atrocious. What? Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably eat shit trying to get up a curb. I like those dudes that's, that could bunny, bunny hop, hop their front wheel like really high and then the back Ooh. wheel would kind of catch up. You know, it's on that like. They should have called yeah. that something else. Yeah. yeah. That shit Definitely looked nasty when yeah. you could do it big. It looked good. I used to like. I, do I used shit. to ride up to the curb and just lift the front wheel and then slam <laughs> the back <laughs> wheel. <into> the <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Damn, that was such a nasty bunny hop, dude. Dude, did Blizz <laughs> tell you about the accident? What happened? <laughs> yeah, Blizz got hit by a bike. Dude, he slipped it in in between songs during he his k radio me. station yesterday, dude. He was like, and that was, yeah, he was like, that was Willie Nelson c- covering uh, George on my mind. Oh, dude, did I mention I got hit by a car like two weeks ago? <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, yeah, dude, fucking hit me. I was like, what happened? He's like, hey, he just hit me. And I was like, what the fuck did he say? He's like, he, he drove off. I was like, no. I was like, that fucked I up. warned Blizz to stay out of those Whoa. streets. Yeah. Dude, and he then he goes, did you hear about that another car right behind him pulled up? It was like, dude, did that guy just hit you and drive off? And Blizz was like, yeah. And he's like, sucks. And drove off. <laughs> yeah. That's actually Damn. a right response. That would have be been funny if he drove over Blizz's bike, too. <laughs> dude, I told Blizz. Me and Blizz went up the street. We, me and Blizz live near each other. Yeah. So, like. I would go to Blizz's house and chill with him, and we'd walk up. There's this area on fucking 16th Street <sighs> that I, like, every time I was telling Blizz, because Blizz, something happened to him on that street, and I was like, yeah, I don't come up here. Every time I come up here, I almost get in, like, a fight, <laughs> driving or walking up here. Like, I'll oh, be where? driving. Uh, this is, like, a little stretch on 16th Street. Oh, uh-huh. And people just, like, there's, like, everyone pops off, and it's just a two-block radius where everyone fucking pops off. Maybe someone was and campaigning I, against you in the area. Dude, Maybe. But it's like, I, but I pop off too. That's my thing. I can't help. And it's like, I'm working on not popping off, but I'll get, I'll pop off. No, like I can't not pop off and I'll instantly, I'll try to backtrack. But like, dude, I've popped off twice on this street. Same block. Like walking. Is it over by that CBS? That's on broad, I think. But that it's, shit is wild over it's there. It's up from there. It's up yeah. from there, but it's in the same kingdom. So it's yeah. up, it's up from there. And it's like, so I've already popped off twice. One time with kid, like a group of kids and like dragged in an elder, like, bro, <laughs> like I'm popping off Can you pop off To these kids Because like I'm fully Popping off right now <laughs> and My wife's popping off To me I gotta I gotta get that Out of myself Where like if yeah. I get Popped off on I fucking Spaz and pop off And I'm gonna get yeah. killed Dude You're un- you're unfortunately About it I, It sucks dude I yeah. wish I, I wish I wasn't You're begrudgingly now, About it <laughs> I'm half Because like the other Half to go fully About it It's like I'd really Like to avoid that yeah. That's why I don't Carry a gun by the way <laughs> I would spaz yeah. shoot someone. If I carried a gun on me, I'd spaz shoot someone. Like fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't imagine shoot. when I first like knew about like people carrying guns. I think part of me was like, damn, it would be cool to just like shoot people. <laughs> it, would be, it would be cool to just like yeah. kill someone. <laughs> I mean, dude, or just flash it. That would be my problem. The oh yeah is just too delicious to let that go. Yeah. Like, what's your threshold for that? Mine's very low. Yeah. Mm. Someone be like faggot. I'm like, oh yeah, fucking yeah. yeah. Pull that thing out. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be constantly. That's how pulling I felt when I was out. nine. When I was nine, I was like, there's probably reasons to shoot people. <laughs> I mean, just assumed <laughs> that there were. There are though. I think it was after it was in Catholic school. They told us that like it, like yeah, you go to hell if you kill, but not if it's in like a war. You know what I mean? There's like technicalities to killing people. So I was like, oh, you probably just shoot some people. Yeah. You know. Yeah, who's to say what's war and what isn't war? Yeah, the the lines are blurred, dude. It's it's not it's not clear. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, almost like there's this like subclass of people who get to say exactly what we do and don't do on some level, who also get to like murder thousands of people and be like, nice job, guys. Everyone go home. Mm. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. You're going to jail forever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's good yeah. they do that, I think. I think the majority of people need uh, that thing to keep us from murdering each other. But, but I think, again, that's why... I don't know. I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that I thought about it, it's all right. I mean, you know? now yeah. that I fully process okay. that, I can see that. Yeah. That, that's why, historically, other cultures look at white boutedness and they're like, they're fucking gay. True. They're coming up with all these rules and justifications. Yeah, but dude, we need that, dude. They can't take the chains off us. We're too bad. <laughs> we need to be so highly organized that we're fucked, dude. What we do about it? You, you I mean, but listen, I, I, I think it's easy. It's, it might be easy to think that, but, but I think that's how you become. That's how white people, and, and from outside looking in, sure, it seems like that's how white people become about it. It's like when you when you're white and you want to be about it, you got to get real fucking organized. True. You know? You got to run for senator. Basically. That's true. That, that's a terrifying job, too, to be like, all right, there's this valley over here. Um, it's kind of fucking us up from like an oil standpoint. Like we need oil to like stay as a big country. You think we should bomb these guys? <laughs> and they're like, I could, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Any of them not like us? Like some of them don't like us. Okay, <laughs> Somebody, I mean, I'm not saying it's. I wonder if it's dry. like typically like the second idea. Like there's like a complicated like, <laughs> and then the second guy's like, yeah, that's never gonna work. Let's bomb. Them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and like, that guy's just the man. The guy being like, hold up, or <laughs> I hear you. I okay, yeah, but let's bomb. Bomb that whole area. Yeah, like, well, they didn't do and it. And then like, the third guy's like, "Wow, he's done it again." <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. It, that's the ultimate. Oh yeah, when countries start to argue and we just drop like <laughs> force, just contained force upon a whole space. It's just like fucking. All right, fine. The ultimate. Oh yeah, that was that was oh, yeah. awesome. Definite. Oh yeah. You're in your house. You're like Jesus fucking Christ. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just whatever. They get it. We'll pay them. That's the old dude. That's the ultimate fuck around to find out. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just your whole country disappearing in a hot flash. Mm-hmm. That's not nice. Um, that is the big. That's the big fuck around to find. Out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's, it's G shit. It's it's something. It's something, and their whole world's ruled by it. This is all doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom. <laughs> this is doom and gloom now. <laughs> no, we're this descending. Is, we're, we're light in the darkness. We're on dude. the. We're going down. We have to though. We're full light in the darkness. Yeah. We're full light in the darkness. And it all stops with us. <laughs> We're going to stop that. Bees, mm. what do you think happens when we die? Nothing. Nothing at all? No. No. Grow up. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> what are you talking about? You, you don't think it. anything at all? No. <laughs> I, don't, I genuinely don't believe it. I don't want to ever <laughs> think that. I want to think... You know what? That, that makes it even better then if something does happen. You know what I mean? Because I'm think going happens? into a negative. Well, you know what's going to happen to you. I already read about this last night. Yeah. You're going to get sucked into the lower astral realms. That might These be awesome the... down there. <laughs> How do you know, dude? <laughs> Typically, like, ghosts that haunt and stuff like that and spirits that possess are lower astral entities. So they're, like, they're kicking around, like... See, I life, don't know where I fall with the haunting thing. I might want to be that, a That's where you go when you smoke weed and then a cigarette. Yeah, lower yeah, that's the only that's the only place you can end up. I was haunting you, but I lay up on that gargoyle perch. I seen you walk in. <laughs> B, so have you been sold on the afterlife or are you still a staunch really. atheist? Very atheist with it. Are you really? Yeah. Bees, you're gonna mm-hmm. live on forever, dude. I know. I don't think I'll ever die, which is sick. Yeah, you're gonna live you're gonna you're gonna I mean, I pray that you enter a higher astral realm, but again, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. We're all gonna we're all getting sucked up towards the ultimate whether we try or not. But doy, no doy, dude. I'm on the list. <laughs> I do, I got a deep lower astral scare today. I, I woke up at like four to put Maya back to sleep. You know when you interrupt your sleep and you get sleep paralysis? Mm-hmm. I've never had sleep paralysis. I remember we talked about that. That's this, what lucid dreamers, what they do is they like purposely wake themselves up at like four in the morning and stay awake. But you're so high. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> your eyes were marbles. Dude. I looked over. Maybe I'm just high. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> so, 
as Ditto, I was saying. Bro. So I, I know, I know. I'm, fucking, I'm looking at you. Whoa. Like, yeah. I looked at you as a mirror. I'm like, are we this fucking? <laughs> like, fuck, fuck. Wait, finish your story, Matt. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So um, <laughs> we, we got a concerned pizza. <laughs> no, pizza. I want to hear the rest of it. Thank you. No, I'm pre- I, I appreciate you for bringing me back to Earth, dude. I started ascending. Um, <laughs> so. So you leave. <laughs> so <laughs> we might have to take a break. So, so, so I, I wake up. I, I put my daughter back to sleep. <laughs> All right. I put her back to sleep. And when you interrupt your sleep like that, mm-hmm. people who try to learn how to astral travel do that on purpose because it sends you into a sleep paralysis is a launching pad for uh, astral traveling. But a lot of people don't realize that and they get scared to get stuck. But if you flow with it, there's a state you go into where just your whole body, all you hear is like, it sounds like that and you start vibrating. But I just read the book about how the astral realm is full of just like people who are like, like Hitler and stuff. It was kind of mean, full of dudes who are like kind of mean and shitty, get hung up on the astral realm and they have to go through a whole other lifetime of learning on the astral plane that we tap into when we dream every night. But it's like, if you fully like go into like, like if you're dreaming, it's one thing. I think we're kind of protected. I don't know by what, When you're dreaming, you're somewhat protected. When you leave that, and like I entered the astral, every time I get sleep paralysis, I go into it. It's like demons and shit. It's scary. Do you get it a lot? Uh, I would say once every once or twice a month. Dude, that is wild. I didn't even really know about it until uh, we were at the old house, and Shane told that story, and then we watched that documentary on Netflix, and everybody described the same thing, that what they saw during their sleep paralysis. Yeah. Which I had no idea about, which is, I've never had anything like that. Yeah, but but this- the sleep paralysis, I, I got, I used to get like shadow figures that would like, I'd wake up yeah. and I'd be in my room, but there'd be like shadowy figures lurching towards me. You need a, you need a mantra. True. You need something to anchor you in, yeah. in, into, into courage while you're in that moment. Exactly. That's what the book said. The book yeah. was like without an experienced teacher, you can go around the lower astral realms and get bullied, which dude, I think you got bullied in the astral realm as well. You were on DMT. Oh dude. Did I tell you got you hijacked. That? You told me about that. Oh man. And I, I thought about that. So I thought about this and I'm like. And then I went into the astral realm, like, fuck this, I got it. And I thought about the book, and I went, oh, there might be some bullies. And it was just a terrifying, all-encompassing demon, oh, dude, and it yeah. scared me out of it. I'm ashamed to admit it. I'm going back in, but I'm going to train myself to be able to... And he was like, it's like going into a dangerous neighborhood. He's like, you got to be careful what you're doing. He's like, you got to know what you're dealing with. You can't just go into there blind. Yeah, I got bullied. spooked. I got totally spooked. Yeah, you went into the astral realm, and you, you, the astral you realm, met up with I, some thugs, dude. They were pretty hostile, and they were like... It was I don't it was like the brain equivalent of like uh like people holding the door open on like a cool car but not obviously not a cool car but like that was like the yeah that was what I perceived you know what I mean mm-hmm. and you got hijacked like, by lower like, astral bro, bullies it was like bro it right now is the time to get in the cool car and they were I was I was like I can't get in the cool car I have a family and they were just like <laughs> And they close the door. And they just, <laughs> that <laughs> might be a deeper subconscious <laughs> insight, and, and you're, oh, you're sure. just like obviously letting there's something I gotta kingly, figure out. Your kingliness. You're, that's a denial of your own kingliness. They're like wow. hopped up I, in the souped up. Yeah, Honda. I mean, this gonna, might be a serious character flaw for me. Yeah. Dude, your subconscious is begging for you to actualize. Oh man, to actually in, individuate. Yeah, dude. you were all. For I think I'm one of those people that's like waiting for like, you know, you you're, you spend your whole life like wondering like when will I know how great I am. You know, that's that dude. That is a that is a that is a white flaw of the that's a con, white yeah. flaw of the commoner, right? Oh, okay. Like the common white people are constantly waiting for people to validate. Yeah, I've got their dirty sickness. peasant blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have servants' blood in me as well. Mm. I'll come into a room and be like, "Excuse me, I'm sorry," and I'm like, "Why the fuck am I apologizing to these people?" Yes, oh, yeah, man. hate that. <laughs> But that's not what you they're doing. Shake it, dude. In the in the in the top one percent, the white people are just like, no, dude, dude. I'm the shit all I day know. long. I know. I know. Yeah, but now they're doing this whole campaign. They're like, we're actually not. Have you guys heard about this? <laughs> Damn, that's not the top 1%. True, that's true. The top 1% is like, look at these motherfuckers. Yeah, that's the, I, you're absolutely right. That is uh, like 60 to 70, 60 to 80% of yeah. like, economically there's speaking. Like, like, so it's actually, like, there's like people that are doing well. And I'm not, I'm not even talking just like economically. I'm talking about like, like a social, like social status, like a, you know, just belief in yourself. You know, like a level of belief in yourself. I know what like you're saying. The, I know what you're saying. Like the common, the common white person hates, you know, somebody like Michael Jordan who like talks shit and he's like, yo, I'm the, I'm the greatest. And like, you can't fucking say that. You can't be dancing in the dancing end zone. in the end zone will yeah. fucking old white dude up. It, it fucks them up because they they that is their limitation on themselves. True. Right. And it's like, well, we're supposed to not 
think that. Damn. I never thought about it that Damn, way. I love dude. watching my dad go like, I wish you wouldn't do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> do your job. I mean, although, although, imagine being a black receiver and hearing that feedback and being like, I would dance. You say I can't dance in the end zone. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that must be that's a, the perfect thing to be like, dude. You you would dance in the end zone too, dude. You're just not allowing yourself to. Yeah, but they, but then it goes it goes weird and toxic the other way in the black community because it's like people that are not good at shit and didn't even score. Or dancing in the end zone. Dancing in the end zone. Like, you didn't even score. Get out of the fucking end zone. Yeah, <laughs> Hand the ball to the ref and run back to the yeah. <laughs> that is like that's like the wow. Deepest, that's the, we need each other, dude. That hurts worse than like a breakup for an old white dude watching a guy <laughs> celebrate after a non-touchdown play. Oh, dude, that that's kills like, kills them. Go to it, bed, dude. It kills them, dude. <laughs> that they should, yeah. That's that's like a that's a pretty serious anger thing, especially after like a first down. Just being like, oh, come on, come on, we play the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. White people yeah. feel the same way about being the shit that black people feel about nicknames. You can't give them to yourself, right? True. Mm. Very true. Very true. Mm. I also, yeah, I learned recently a lot of black people don't like when, uh, or maybe it's just Brittany's family, but like summarizing somebody's <laughs> name, but with a the first syllable. So to call Maya like my, yeah. is, she's like, oh, I fucking hate that. It's yeah, it's, like, it's, annoying. It's, un- it's not creative. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, we've talked about it a lot. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, so if I just do the first letter of her name, now I'm cool. And she was like, it's different. That is different. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that is, I call my is. daughters the first letter. And of it, name. it yeah. does sound significantly cooler. So yeah, I guess you're, yeah. Yeah, H and K. That's True. sick. H is nice. Yeah, it does sound cool to have someone say the first letter of your name. K's not bad in America. S, there's only one of them. S really isn't, though. <laughs> S, nah, yo, S. Nah. G, but my last name, G. Yeah, yeah, true. What's up, G? People use, yeah. What's up? T. That's pretty I, cool. That's a cool yeah, first name. T, huh? I T- don't know. That's kind of like an earring. It makes me Yo, think, like, think. It makes me think of a man with a pierced ear. <laughs> I don't dude, like that. You're just seeing yourself. Should you're I subconscious. Ear your subconscious is <laughs> screaming through you, dude. I might need to get like a hanging cross piercing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might yeah. have to be like tasteful, dude. Dude, yeah. You might have to go fully you, tasteful. <laughs> dude, you might have to enter taste into the picture. Yeah. I might have because you have to start out with a stud, obviously. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. But I'd probably get a nice one. <laughs> What's up, beast? What well, stretching? Sorry, that's all good. <laughs> we can't see you. I don't know what that was. Oh man, beast! What do you think about this? What do you think Butterly should do with what? <laughs> with this whole situation? Yeah, his He's subconscious king. is his king. Burst to come out outside. So what's what's the problem? Why won't it come out? <laughs> Why won't your fucking kingness come well, out? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. We're, yeah, that's what we're looking for an answer for. Who bitched you up? Did yeah. you get bitched up recently? No. Do you get intimidated? I think he is right now. Yeah. Dude. Do, he, Why? It's be, not. Bees is it might be seek. something that's small. You know what I mean? He's like, do you true, have, do you have lower chakra? Dude, issues? those little stings will hold on, dude. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Well, uh, don't that's you guys worry. Cool. It's something I got to work on. No, don't you guys No, you're right. It. You're right. What are you talking about? Himself. The hero's yeah. journey for sure. He, yeah. What kind yeah. of stings are you talking? What kind of stings you know, are you dude, thinking dude, about? Dude, there's little stings that you don't think are like, ah, fuck it. That's not a big deal. What's the last time someone stung the bees? I don't know. <laughs> I get stung all the time. Dude, dude you know what? Yeah, because you yeah. you put up this wall and it's like, all right. But how then do you, you deal with being stung? Yeah. Maybe that's my issue. True. You I've know. I've recently entered the world <laughs> of being stung. It sucks, dude. Oh. Dipping a toe in. Stung, yeah, well, because like, 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 but it's good though. I've been trying to. I, I'm trying to put a more. I'm trying to stop popping off. <laughs> True. Yeah. I gotta stop popping. Yeah. You know pop off. I've been. I've been. You're a habitual popper. Certified. Yeah. Certified. I got some facts. Facts. <laughs> <I've> been, <laughs> dude, I've been trying to pop off more. Really? Yeah. Dude, dude. we need each other. Yes. You know. Yeah. You got that balance. I don't yeah. think. I think historically, I have not popped off a, enough. Bro. And I'm. And look, it's it's tough to carry that around. You I have think to start popping off. Dude. It's an anchor, dude. You 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 got to be willing. To leave destruction in your wake mm-hmm. and not look back. Oh, that's the, that's that's the maybe the one thing I've I've always. And Sid, you got to slow down the no wake zone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I guess so. I'm like now that I'm, not, I've been having some fucked up dreams. Man. Really? Yeah. About what? About, like about not popping off. I should be popping off. Like my By the way, this, this, re- this reinforces the existing theory that Sid is nego Tim. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, dude. 
There's some, yeah. some credence. There's some, and bees. You're gonna tell me there's not some like universal consciousness that just made this situation come about? No. All right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with those chips and guac? We're gonna get there. Dude. I think it's we're there. It's coming. What, Man, what, where are we that. at time wise? DD. Uh, Perfect. Oh, yeah. Bees. You might be tuned. In. Bees. Snap now you're gonna time. tell me. I think you might be Nego Bees. I might be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might be, dude. <laughs> well, I got. I do. I gotta tell you about this dream, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Please, right. please, please. So uh, I met up with somebody from back in the day who I didn't really like. Right. So already I want to pop off, but I'm not. Sure. Right. So like I'm constantly being tested. Where were you guys? In in my hometown. In my hometown. Uh, your pop off meter must be high. Yes. You're going there too. Yes. So. Uh, we're going to his house where he once tried to have people jump me. Why are you guys hanging out now? <laughs> Beca- dude, because I, I'm being tested. In my dream, hang, right? Oh, you're having a dream. I thought it was happening no, in real this, life. This I'm is like, a dream. What are you doing? Dream. Okay. So Shit. between, between uh, his house and where we were, somehow there was a, a pizzeria Uno. <laughs> Swag. So we went to the pizzeria. You're Uno. definitely in the lower astral realm right <laughs> yeah. now, dude. Because you know, like, I die, you see the Uno, you're like, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. So 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 I go, I go in. It's like mad busy, but they have like a counter where you can like do do orders and shit. And people are like bumping into me and you know not apologizing, dude. You know, like uh, like dudes like like Jack dudes are like mean Whoa. mugging me for no reason. Like you want to fucking know you were in the lower astral realm. Yes. Yes. Damn. And I'm like not popping off. I'm not popping off. Finally, I'm like this. This is too much. I don't. I don't know if I can handle this. But I still want some of this pizzeria Uno. <laughs> Tried so hard not to pop off, <laughs> dude. It's like insane. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm gonna go through the drive-through, right? So I get yeah. in my car and I go through the drive-through, and they let you in like this garage, and you come in it. It's like it's like a garage of pizzeria Uno, and there are pizzas on the tables, but there are like big pizzeria Uno mechanics sitting at these tables. <laughs> what? Dude, so like I, you know, you pizza garage. It's, pe- it's basically. First of all, why don't drive-ins have a, like a warehouse? That would be that'd sick, be pretty dude. sick. The drive-through, the full drive-through. You pull in, yeah. And they act like real futuristic about it. <laughs> they set it up like a government hideout. With, like see, they bring it out like a briefcase. You're like, thank you. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking it's about under like, the drive-through. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like having like automated machines like assembling a burger like on a tray that's outside of the, your car window. You know, what that'd what I'm be saying? tight too that'd to let the, let the process go. Like, like you I see want, it I want the want process and like different little. Conveyor arm things go around. And That's the future of Sonic. <laughs> yeah. And the assembles the burger. Through the That'd glass, you just see like a, a 16 year old lady complaining, <laughs> standing by like the fry machine. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. So, yeah. So, I, so I, try, I try to get my pizzas. I, no, I ordered my pizza. I wanted uh, sausage and pepperoni. Don't tell me they fucked with your za. Dude, they gave me only pepperoni, but I didn't realize it at first because they put it in the box. Oh. I just happened to check before I paid. Dude, this is so funny. Dude, I checked before I paid. Of course. And I go back to them and I'm like. You inspected the za. Yeah, I had to. I had to. Everything was going. And everyone, way. there's still like a bunch of dudes just hulking around you like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. And so I go, I go over. I'm like, yeah, Yo, you gave me the wrong pizza. Yeah, yeah. Sausage and pepperoni. I don't want just pepperoni pizza. And he was like, "Why didn't you say that?" Oh shit! Damn, I miss. I and miss. You're like, sit, da- like chill. Yeah. When was the last time you actually stood in a pizza place and waited for an order? It's been a while, and I miss it. Been yeah, that's been smell a years. I miss like stand oh, like yeah, dude. I would watch them make my order. Oof. Was I? This is this is an insecurity. I think. I, I completely avoid because I watch them like a hawk. I'm like, damn, there goes my pizza. Oh, you're up there. Yeah. I'm up. watching them like turn it in the oven. I'm like, good call. It was, it was getting It's from your Big Tim days. You think it's a Big Tim? That's a Big Tim flex? You like eyes on the operation. Yeah. Is that what you're worried about, about your kingliness? Do you think you're going to be a portly king? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, just, I mean, just something. Thinking. Yeah. True. I could get fat again. Yeah, get fucking yeah. huge. That would be fun. Yeah, get fucking fat. It was as really shit fun again. the first time. Getting fat as fuck ruled. It's, dude, we've all been yeah. there. Yeah, we've all been. We've there. all it's been pretty there. great. But so 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 I ordered. So I go back yeah, yeah. and I'm like, can I get my? Then they only gave me sausage pizza, but it wasn't the it wasn't the sliced sausage. It was a little sausage meatballs, and one of them only had no. like three fucking sausages on it. Now you know they're fucking with you, right? Yeah. Purpose. This is purpose. Yeah. This now, is purpose. Yeah, it's a right? thing now. I didn't pop off, right? Didn't pop off. Yeah. And then they they gave them to me on this tray in a way that it was wobbly. So as I was like trying to walk away, the pizzas fell. What night did you have this dream? It was last. This was last night's dream. Okay. I woke. Dude, I woke up 
so like angry and proud of myself i called ansley so she's in florida right now yeah i called her immediately so you have to be involved in this like and i had to tell her this whole thing what would you end up doing uh I, I you know i looked at them they saw that i dropped the pizza oh you dropped it i and they didn't like offer so it was peaceful protest so you were like oops no so i, I picked it up <laughs> put it on a thing and then i got like, like the way the way the pizza fell, like this is the only thing that seemed like a dream. All of the rest of the shit seemed like it was ha- actually happening. Yeah, yeah. But like the pizza fell on the crust and it was like vertical. Whoa! So like I just ripped the <laughs> I just ripped the crusts off of the pizzas, <laughs> and I didn't like. Whoa. And I there was a trash can like close to them, yeah. and I walked over and I put them in the trash and I didn't even like look at them to try to like have them see what I was yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. I was just like I really just disposed of the crust. You were making a scene about it, being like, nah. "I'm gonna throw this crust out on this wrong pizza that I got." Just fucking quietly, like, I'll discard dude, that. I didn't even subtly pop off. What? I didn't even, like, dude, it was, like, no popping off. That's crazy. Whatsoever. So I think I've, I think I'm ready to be stung a little. You've turned a corner. Society. Yeah. I'm about to get stung up. I get ready to turn things. the other cheek. Wow. I don't like the way you said that. I, so, I mean, not, not even. Right, let's be honest. Yeah, He's ready I mean, to take the other slice. Hearing it, <laughs> like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here, hearing this still has gives me a, a knee jerk reaction. I'm like, I ain't I no fucking, you know. Yeah, you're gonna turn I ain't the other gang, cheeks. You know, it's time yeah. to face it. No, nah, no, nah, I'll fuck that. Who, who's yeah. trying to turn these cheeks? True. You know what I mean? Like, I still have that instinct. I'm gonna pop off more. You're gonna turn the other cheek. Wow. These are gonna be it, interesting. Dude, it's times. funny because it does yeah. work very well. Yeah. Just to be like, yeah, instead of hating that guy, I'm gonna just love him. You mm. just feel great. Mm. Someone yeah, fucks you even up. Even when I was, like, I was, I feel sorry for that. I was doing that out of spite before, though. Like I was like fully embracing Ooh, the love of another person nice. to get at them. Okay. Well, listen. You're supposed I, to be loving them. I en- yeah yeah. I would fully embrace that love. Yeah. And then leave them on the lower astral, like with, with in their in their lower chakras. Yeah. And I descend, and then there will be a moment of enjoyment that I just delight in. You would love vampires, man. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> How does that work? Explain it to me again. Yeah, you get people to give you love and absorb no, 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 it. No, and be no, like no, later. no. Somebody crosses you, right? Somebody oh, fucks up. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay, gotcha. And then I would love that. I just love that person. Right. So hard. oh, the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. And just le- like a that, care, that. dude. You care bared into the ground just so you could feel the sky. <laughs> like I feel, I feel good for this, but like still fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, kind of yeah. rules, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to do that either. Like I, I, don't, I, I'm, you just imagine like Sid wait, like sitting in like a breakfast nook with like a, a mug that he's holding with two hands, just thinking about his enemies. You know what I mean? Just great. This is awesome. Then you, <laughs> then you love them, and then you feel good. You're like, yeah. yeah, I'm so good for loving my enemies. Then you feel good on that too. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I also, describe it. Yeah, I also yeah. feel good for the because you like listen. The universe it takes a little bit to catch up, right? It's not as instantaneous. Sure. So like I'll like I'll love and root for my enemies. And then, like, I'll get a little bit of ascension. You'll enjoy it. a little bit of good karma. Yeah, I'll, knowing like, there's I'll something get the to good come. karma. And then, like, once I get the good karma, like, I'll stop ascending and just be like, "Fuck you!" You're like, just like, <laughs> look down there, and be like, "Fuck you, <laughs> bitch!" <laughs> 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 I got good karma off you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> look what loving you did for me, you fucking idiot! Oh yeah. my god, that's sick, actually. Yeah, it's pretty twisted. You just you, you, car- you karmically stunt on your enemies. I do. <laughs> I do, and Damn, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stop popping off. I'm trying to stop karmically stunting. Yeah. I'm trying to. You know, I want to get closer yeah. to what I, you know, purport myself to be. I For need sure. to like karmically get fancy clothes. I need to start. Maybe, I'm listening. Maybe like, put a little swing in my step ka- karmically. You know, yeah. karmic I mean? karmic swag. Yeah, I'm too. I'm straight and narrow. He karmic swag. I'm, I'm square karmically. Yeah. Not, Not you know. It's it's an okay existence if you can call it that. But what style of clothing does your karmic swag? Mm. Oh no, I thought like a big jacket, like a really huge, a puffy jacket. coat. Yeah, but like oh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like the, like ironically puffy, like that puffy. I think bees is the foremost person to talk to about this. Bees, what do you think about this puffy coat? True. What should he do? What do you think about like an Karmi- extremely puffy coat? Karmic- you karmically, have one? karmically speaking, don't you already have one? It's not puffy enough. The one you're wearing right now, that's plenty yeah. puff, dude. That's no, no, plenty no, 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 puff. No, no, no. You go no, any more no, no. puff, I won't that, like, like grotesquely a puffy. No, and just what like and knowing it everywhere I go. You already kind of are with that jacket. I'm telling you, that's that's yeah, stay this puff. Is nothing, dude. This is oh, you're like talking pre-alpha. Like fucking, you're talking like 92, like Wu Tang videos. 
bigger. Like, <laughs> dude, it's 2022. This isn't 30 so what, years what ago. What would you dude. do? What would you do? What would be one thing to move you towards? I've always wanted to just like have that energy walking down like a crowded street where people are like trying to window shop and they look around like, whoa, like I'm snapping necks. Talking that's like human want. window shopping where they're looking around like, what's that guy up to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's always a strange part about like walking around strangers when like like that second you guys look at each other and like all right, I'm forgetting about that. Yeah, what's your whole deal? I've forgotten so many people. Like I'd be like, I'm not gonna forget that person. I just yeah. Oh yeah, 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 try to take a little little snapshot. Yeah, yeah like do they, they remember just, like, this too? It's like I, trying to hold your breath for a long time. Yeah, you're, you're holding a person in your brain. You're like ah, I'm gone. I don't know. It is me. weird to think about like if you have that interaction and then somebody continues that on about you for the rest of the day. It's like that might happen. I wonder again. if there's anyone who's like got their current record remembering you. Like someone's someone's at like 15 years of just remembering a stranger and you're the stranger they're thinking about. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> that'd be, wild? Yeah, that'd be pretty That's sick. pretty powerful though. Yeah. To like remember every single stranger and you have like a nice database of like, I know that guy. He has not no fucking clue. Yeah. Start bumping into him again and be like, hey, bud. Like, oh, hey, I'm sorry, buddy. They probably take like two of those. Like, <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was in this. Uh, I got. This this guy through Facebook that I went to high school with hit me up and started uh-huh. to argue with me on like through Messenger Jesus. about something that I was popping off about publicly, Shit. right? And uh, you know we're, we're 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 talking, and uh, I forget what I forget what we're even arguing about. But at one point he goes, "You're technically right. You're technically right, and that's the worst kind of right." Oh man! Right? And then he goes, and I go, I, I wrote back to him. I was like, "Huh, I like that." He I was like, yeah. and he goes, I bet you do. You said that to me 20 fucking years ago and I never forgot it. What'd Whoa. you like? Oh, you say, yeah, I like Yeah, that. I just like, I like that phrase. I like that. I like the way you said that. You know, like you're technically right and that's the worst kind of right. When, yeah. he, when he said that, I was like, yeah, I like the way you said that. He was like, I bet you do. You said that to me 20 fucking years ago and I'll never forget it. Like his whole entire thing, his whole entire reason for that was like, I get to say this phrase back at him. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, wow. You, yeah. You sent him... You sent him down a path, dude. And when he, when he when he hit me with that, it was just like, dog, I fucking won. Oh yeah, you just you just messaged me to tell me that I was in your head. For what were you guys years. arguing about, dude? It was some weird race thing that he was like, he's a white guy. Oh yeah, and he he's from my area. First of all, it's racist to hold a black dude in your head for that long. <laughs> <laughs> the guy definitely doesn't not hate black people yeah. because of that. That is just, reminiscent of slavery. Yeah, it has to be yeah. like, I wonder what Sydney's up yeah. to 20 yeah. years later. That's like, I mean, I don't know. I, no, there's something racist about that. He's karmically like trying to hold dominion over you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, I, and I told him, I was, I was like, uh, like basically what I was telling him after was like, dude, you're lucky that you had somebody like me who's such a good guy in your head. Like if it wasn't somebody like me, I would have fucked you up mentally. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I yeah. you're lucky I wasn't I'm not the good guy that I am. Yeah. Or else I would have been in your head fucking shit up, dude. Or like if like <laughs> if like a loser fucked one of his girlfriends and he had to just think about a loser as his rival his whole life. Yeah, you know what I'm dude, talking about? You're yeah, lucky it was me. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking nuts that he held that for that long. Like you said that to me 20 years ago. Yeah. It's like, dude, did we kiss? Like, what, the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what else do I don't know? I don't remember. <laughs> he he was on the cross country team. Yeah. already and uh that's I, a hot beef anyway because you're a sprinter i was but i joined the cross country team my senior year to stay in shape oh man as he did practice his sport. for the real thing yeah he oh, did his sport as exercise man. dude and i beat him every race because <laughs> yeah they're like these sprinters don't know anything about long distance dude, running. he fucking sucked <laughs> he sucked oh, that would bother me yeah, it bothered me. I mean, me a lot. then again, I don't. I feel like they, I, they made me team capped. I was one of the. I was one of the co captains oh of the cross yeah, country team. Dude, that actually, I will, I will say, throughout <laughs> my life, I celebrated people who excelled in athletics. I'd be like, nice, that's cool. Yeah, especially there's if they're no, on your team. Yeah, and there was no part of me that was like, I need to be better than. I was like, that guy's definitely better than me. I'm mm-hmm, like, he's really yeah. good, and I'm, you know. I always wished I had that. I wish I felt like competitive with people who yeah. were like good at shit. Yeah, I uh, I know I don't like losing video games. I'm, I don't even pride myself on being good at yeah, them. Yeah, that's like as far as I go, off. though. It pisses me off when like I, I lose. Yeah. I have to have a full conversation with myself like, Matt, this isn't real. There's nothing at stake here. It's not a big deal. I'll lose at a video game. Be like, fuck. But yeah, there's not a part of me that's like, eh, maybe in the moment I'll be like, let's play again. But like, I won't really think. After like 10 minutes, I'm like, Dude, oh, I'm for me, playing. it's never about the other person. For me, it's always about knowing that I can rely on myself if everything is stacked against me. That's all I want to prove through competition. 
and it, it, even like video games and all that. No stuff. matter the pressure, like dude, when we're playing video games, and if I'm getting squashed, Sid's fighting for his life. We have every, every, we everything. We have played everything. M- <laughs> we've have we have played MK. Yes, dude, I stay I stay cool. You can't. I, I'm I like being unrattleable. Mm-hmm. Is all I need because yeah. like once you're rattled, you're fucking erratic and you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Once you're rattled, you're a dead man. Yeah, true. So for me, it's like I need to prove to myself constant. I'm not competitive with other people. Mm-hmm. I'm like it's it's all me. Damn, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's me versus Fei Long every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get more competitive too. I'm not. I'm more I'm more of a cooperative spirit. We like, should I get. You more. guys should get into fighting games with me. Dude, you see me play a, Mortal Kombat. Dude, I bought a uh, an arcade stick from a dude. I'm I'm probably gonna get pretty serious about Street Fighter Five. I think you guys. Would Wait, is that really an old? Time. Is that an old version or a new version? No, it's like the current one. The current guy. It's ending now because Street Fighter Six is coming out. Gonna get into that for sure. But yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I'll get into some fighting. Yeah, I'm, I'm That's my favorite video game. Dude, type. smashing people up still feels like the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, they fall. Winner goes on, dude. Put your quarters up. That'd be awesome. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm trying to whiff punish some people. Oh, yeah. I just like making wow. people miss. Sid knows terminology. Yeah. That's, that's called whiff punish for real? You punish. Yeah. You, yeah. Pu- you, you punish as a counterattack. Like, oh, we, like we should go to the page, actually. We should go to the page. What we are we should. at? An hour and 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Now oh, that we're yeah. steaming fucking hot. Now, yeah. now that we're. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we going to hit that freeze pipe, right? Hit the freeze pipe. Yeah. Hit the freeze yeah. pipe. See you all on the motherfucking page.